सो हेलो गाइस टुडे आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ टू यूज द कनेक्ट मेथड विच इज लाइक वर्किंग ऑन द सिंगल स्लॉट मैकेनिज्म सो हाउ टू कम्युनिकेट टू क्लासेस लाइक वी एमिटिंग द सिग्नल फ्रॉम द वन क्लास एंड इट विल कैच टू द एन अदर क्लास सो बोथ द लाइक मेथड रनिंग ऑन द पैरेलल सो यू आर नॉट गेट स्टक बिकॉज इफ वी कॉल द फंक्शन ऑफ द डिफरेंट class then it control go to the different class then it run the function after that it will come again and the continue the execution but in case of the signal slot mechanism we just emit the signal and the another class will uh, after uh, we connect the sig uh, signal to the another class of the slot and slot will receive the signal and uh, they uh, perform some operation and that uh, the फर्स्ट क्लास द गो द एग्जीक्यूशन कंटिन्यू विदाउट इंटरप्टिंग टू द और कंट्रोल गो टू द सेकेंड क्लास सो लेट्स सी हाउ दिस कनेक्ट मैथड विल वर्क इन क्यू टी सो फर्स्ट वी क्रिएट द प्रोजेक्ट एंड वी पुट द नेम कनेक्ट मैथा ओके सो लेट्स क्रिएटिंग द प्रोजेक्ट हेयर सो आई एम क्रिएटेड दिस प्रोजेक्ट सो लेट्स सी हाउ कनेक्ट मैथड विल वर्क सो इन दिस Uh, we need to create uh, two classes. First, uh, I create one class. Uh, let's see. So I'm inheriting from the queue object and put it uh, here like first class. Okay, name of the first class of this class. So first class, I'm created this first class. And sim similarly, what we need to do, creating the another class or this the second class. so let's create another class second class and we see here how this uh, will work select the object so i created the two classes uh, first class and the second class so what we need to do uh, i'm uh, connecting the signal of first class to slot of the second class so let's see how to do this uh, uh, here so what we need to do i'm creating uh, one property here first of all a uh, q string uh, the name is uh, title okay so i am creating the title let's uh, create access specifier public slots so slots okay and the one is the private private so i created this okay so let's generate this machine property here so i am in first class and uh, let's uh, create one more uh, let's call it the signal okay so let's create the signal void uh, notify second class okay so here it's notifying the second class okay so what uh, i am sending here if you uh, don't want to send anything uh, you can just avoid but if you want to send something and then you can use here like anything any number of parameter you can use so i'm here sending the title okay so title i'm initially is setting here uh, here so what title i'm setting uh, this is a first class title okay so i'm setting this initially i setted this and uh, and after that i'll connect this class to this this signal to the another class so let's go into the second class and so here i am what need to do uh, i am here creating another property in second class which is set uh, by the uh, first class signal so let's uh, creating the property call it q string uh, what name i am put it here the uh, title 2 okay so i am put it the title to here i am naming the public slots okay so public slot here i am putting the private and let's generate this property okay so i am generating this property 
and what we need to do here i am creating one more slot because we need to connect that slot so void handle uh, first class handle first class signal okay so i'm uh, using this uh, name format so i created this so what we need to do here here we need to like connect the signal slot of that too and it will be set so let's uh, register these classes uh, or create the object inside the main function okay so let's include h include first class and h include second class here so i included the both the classes so let's create uh, the objects of that class first class and so first class and here i'm putting the new first class and now the second class and this is the second class object new second class okay so this is about the class we created so let's connect the signal of first class to slot of the second class and it will change the title so first of all go to the uh, second class uh, the slot so let's generate this uh, slot because we not generated that so here uh, if we receive so what it will receive is to receive the title q string title okay so receive the title here so i am receiving the title from the first class and put this title or set title to here the set title to to this title okay so i am setting this title so now what we need to do just using the connect okay so q object and here i am connect so what we need to do here it will take the four things first uh, what we need things it will take the first class argument okay so first class and here i am putting the first class okay and the which uh, notify second class so notify second class so here i am not uh, putting any argument because it will automatically connect like i am putting here the second class object name second class object name and uh, what we need to do here uh, the second class name second class name and here handle first class signal okay so it will handle the first class signal so now uh, then here i also check if this connected successfully or not let's check here bool it will return the bool let's see and i'm printing here if success let's print something or debug something uh, connected success and what here we need to do else q debug connect okay so i'm um, let's just checking here if it's connect work or not so what we need to do also i registered this property because i am showing showing you to if it is visible in qml side or not like if it is success or not okay so let's register the second class i'm not registering the first class uh no no uh, we need to register both the classes so i'm call the signal uh, which is fire from here and will uh, see the output of the second class from so let's uh, engine here we need to register engine dot root context root context and set context property here we need to include the context property header file as include so qml context okay so i'm here setting the set root context set context 
context properties so i'm putting the name first class first class okay so here i'm putting the pointer of first class so let's create a second class also similarly so i'm just copy pasting so let's put here the second class object and here also we put the second class okay so i'm register these both the classes and c plus plus now it's visible in the qml side so what we need to do here uh, like emitting the signal from the first class so let's create one invocable method q invocable so here we put the void uh, word type and like invoke the signal okay invoke signal here so let's refactor this so uh, i'm refactoring this here so what we need to do here uh, i'm emit the signal which is created here notify second class so i'm invoking this and now what we put here title which we set it here okay also we pass the title from the qml side so you can also put the argument here and you can notify any of them so but just i am putting here and passing the existed uh, or no we can what we need to do is just show you how to this will work invoke the signal title okay t i t l t i t l e so just putting the inside this also invoke the signal so i pass this title from the qml side okay so the title we are sending from the qml side and will uh, invoke the signal notify to the second class so we'll read that so what we need to do here i am showing the title of second class so here it will not show till now uh, title 2 so what uh, which name be register here the g title dot title 2 so dot title two this is the name and now i am creating one another button let's control so what we need to do here i am put one button so which is invoke the signal of first class so text uh, invoke signal of first class okay delighted true and put on center anchor center and parent okay so we put the parent and on click what happened on click on and click it will generate the signal of the first class so this is the first class we register using this and this dot where uh, in first class what signal we need to invoke this one so i'm invoking this one and what signal we need to pass here so i am passing that first class title okay here you can put anything here so i'm putting this title and invoking the signal and what it will signal will do so first class it will invoke and this will invoke the signal and this signal we connected here so this will connected uh, here inside the second class method the it will handle it will receive the signal and set the title to so this title to also shown here like here and also i put uh, one level here so it will show inside the level also so font dot pixel size is 18 anchor dot uh, horizontal center parent dot horizontal center okay so text dot text is uh, title to so this is the okay connect so let's see uh, running this application and let's see how it will work so this is the it's showing the connected success you see here the connected is success so if i'm clicking this signal like connected method it will showing the title to connect method okay so uh, because the title is empty that time okay so if i'm clicking this invoke signal so let's see the, this will work this is the first class signal title so if i am let's say like putting anything else here like i'm putting other qt developer 
ओके लेट्स रन अगेन सो आई एम रनिंग अगेन लेट्स क्लिक दिस एंड दिस इज सोइंग दिंग क्यू की डेवलप यू कैन पास एनी ऑफ द आर्ग्यूमेंट हेयर नंबर ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट एंड दिस विल सो सो दैट्स ऑल हाउ यू सी दिस कनेक्ट मैथड बर्क एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो चेक हेयर आफ्टर दैट रेस्टिंग दिस क्लासेज एंड आई विल सो द हाउ दिस कनेक्टेड will work okay thank you guys so that's all in this class okay